stuff. So far, we have seen various uh, circuits or diode circuits in which the input is a DC source. Now, let us have a look at some circuits in which the input is an AC signal, which may be a sine wave or a triangular wave or a square wave, etc. Okay. Which the first topic is clippers. Right. What is a clipper? It is a transmission network which passes a particular part of the input signal to appear at the output. And that uh, appeared output may be above a reference level or below a reference level or in between two reference levels. And of course, the reference level may be positive or negative or both positive or both negative. Anything is possible. Which means, you see, suppose I have a clipper circuit. In which the input is like this. Okay, and the output may be just as an example, I am writing a sign. Okay, and the output may be above a particular reference level. Suppose it is like some 5 sin omega t. Then output may be above a particular reference level means above 2 volts possible. Maybe 2 volts. Or below a particular reference level may be uh, below 1 volt. or in between two reference levels, maybe above 3 volts and below minus 2 volts. Output maximum is 3 and minimum is minus 2 volts. All such things are possible. So the input is a sine wave, but if you look at the output, it is above a reference level or below a reference level and in between two reference levels and the reference above reference level means it need not be positive it can be negative also or everything above minus 2 volts can appear at the output or everything below minus 1 volt can appear or in between minus 2 and minus 5 volts can appear like that various combinations the reference voltage need not be positive Okay, so all combinations are possible and if you have the circuit in which the output is something like this, it is also known as positive clipper, sorry this one, right here if you take this particular circuit, right, it is the output of a positive clipper. In a positive clipper, the positive peaks will be clipped off or sliced off, cutting the signal horizontally. If you cut the signal vertically, that is known as a sampling, whereas if you cut a signal horizontally, that is known as clipping. Clipping Clippers are also known as voltage limiters or voltage slicers. Okay, So like this, it's a, suppose uh, the particular, a particular circuit is clipping the negative cycle means, suppose I get the output something like this. Negative peaks are clipped off. Then a circuit which performs this kind of operation or which eliminates the negative peaks, it is known as negative clamper. Okay, positive clamper, negative clamper, like that. 
eliminating a particular peak okay these are some names and basically these are audio signals and they are meant for eliminating the unwanted signals present uh, during the transmission we can take that's their main concern of any clipper circuit if you take so okay so it is a transmission network which allows a particular path of the input to appear at the output and remaining part of the signal is clipped off or sliced off okay so clippers are also known as voltage limiters or slicers okay this is how we can see it or right, i have written uh, some information about these clippers and one more thing i can say uh, here uh, uh, suppose a particular binary data is transmitted like this this is transmitted but the signal received is the received signal something like this actually here the binary data is like 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 it's almost uh, like a binary data only but uh, some noise is added in the output then what to do we have to eliminate to retrieve our transmitted signal we are using a clipper here so that the unwanted signals means this portion this has to be eliminated this has to be eliminated here smoothening the signal by using proper clippers we can eliminate the unwanted signal okay so how the uh, once you pass it through a clipper circuit once we set the reference level right uh, it may actually here binary data it, it may be something like zero volts just for our understanding purpose i'm writing here it is something like two volts then 0 to 2 volts whatever is present that will appear and the remaining thing will be eliminated means if you have a clipper circuit then the output of the clipper will be something like this okay those things are eliminated something like this of course this kind of noise may be present anyway later using some filtering techniques and all we can remove even that also to remove the unwanted signals above and below the reference level especially we use this clipper circuit this is one simple example i can say okay that is the role of a clipper circuit okay to retrieve your original signal back see some information about the clippers uh, clipping circuits are electronic circuits that limit or clip the amplitude of a signal, typically an audio waveform. These circuits often used to prevent the distortion or damage to subsequent components in a circuit by preventing the signal from exceeding certain voltage levels, as I told. Okay. And uh, there are two common types of clipping circuits, positive and negative clippers. A positive clipping circuit clips the positive half cycle a positive half of the waveform while the negative clipping circuit clips the negative half okay so as i told positive and negative clippers right 
sorry it's not clamper sorry friends clipper okay negative and negative clipper and it is uh, it is positive clipper okay the circuit typically use uh, diodes to achieve the clipping effect so how it uh, just makes use of the diodes we need to see how the actual circuit is uh, appear and all we need to see and clipping circuits can be found in various applications uh, uh, including audio amplifiers speakers and communication systems mainly in communication systems only uh, they are particularly useful in audio applications to prevent the signal distortion when amplitude exceeds the limits of the system as i told i showed here right some distortion in the shape amplitude distortion and some noise addition is there to eliminate all such things and retrieve the original signal we are using this clipper circuits okay and how does a clipper circuit appear and all we need to see let us have a look at the very basic circuit clipping circuit again various names of the clippers we have two categories of clippers one is series clipper another one is shunt clipper right for it using series or shunt clippers you can have uh, positive clamp clippers negative clippers etc okay see this series clipper i am taking some reference voltage some resistor r input and output this is known as a series clipper what is its work let us start with ideal diode if the diode is ideal what happens assume ideal diode better understanding I am starting with ideal diode. Input is uh, like okay. Uh, I am taking V input is equal to some five sine omega t, and the reference voltage is some two volts like this. Then there are two cases possible. Input is a sine wave of a peak to peak amplitude of 10 volts or positive cycle 5 volts peak amplitude, negative cycle minus 5 volts peak amplitude. We can see. Okay. And there are two possibilities. The diode will conduct for a portion of the input and it doesn't conduct for a portion of the input. So let us take the diode is off. Okay. When does the diode is off? There is a case one. diode is off or if v input is zero does the diode conduct no anode is at zero and cathode is going towards two volts so cathode is at higher voltage compared to anode diode is off input zero volts diode is off as you keep on increase the input such that when anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage then only the diode will conduct otherwise it does not okay so diode is off then what is the equivalent circuit we can take This is a equal circuit. Is there any current possible in the circuit? Then no current is possible. What about the output? V output is equal to I into R plus 2 volts. As there is no current I, V output is equal to 2 volts. So whatever the voltage you have, reference voltage that can be seen at the output terminals. Very, very simple. Okay. Then the second case. Okay, if the diode is off, the equivalent circuit and the corresponding output equation. And how long this is possible? We need to see. As the output is 2 volts, means cathode voltage of the diode is 2 volts. So, how long the diode will not conduct? Means, 
as long as the anode voltage is less than cathode voltage, the diode does not conduct. Means anode voltage means V input, cathode voltage means output, that is 2 volts. So, above circuit is valid when VA is less than VC. Above circuit is valid. Anode voltage is less than cathode voltage. Anode voltage means V input and cathode voltage means V output. What is V output here we have seen? 2 volts. The above circuit is valid as long as input is less than 2 volts. And second case, case 2. Diode is on. If the diode is on, what is the equivalent circuit? This way. What is the output? Suppose you have a network like this, then what we can write? Output is equal to input. There is a current flow in the circuit. I need not worry about the equation of current and all. If you want, we can write it. But anyway, from the equivalent circuit, we can say output is equal to and how long this is possible? This is true as long as anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage. Anode voltage means input, cathode voltage, right? Earlier it was 2 volts as I mentioned, okay? So, above circuit is valid. If anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage, anode voltage means V input and cathode voltage means V output. Earlier output, I can say 2 volts. Okay. Strictly speaking, it is 2 volts. I am directly writing this. Okay. And why the name series clipper? Why the name series clipper means you see the diode, input, diode, and output are in a loop. If you observe the say, circuit, see if I take the loop equation, V input is equal to voltage across the diode plus V output. All the input, diode and output, right? The diode is in the loop, in series with the output. Hence the name series clipper. Okay. Keep it aside. There is another circuit known as a shunt clipper which gives the same result. Okay. So, anyway, the conclusion of this circuit is if V input is less than 2 volts, diode is off and output is equal to 2 volts. If V input is greater than 2 volts, then diode is on and output is equal to input. This is what I can write. Okay. Right. So, these are the two possible circuits. And a circuit which gives the same result is another circuit which gives the same result. It is known as shunt clipper. In shunt clipper, what we do is we interchange the positions of diode and resistor and we change the, we keep the direction of the diode in such a way that earlier the current was flowing in clockwise direction. If the diode is conducting, if the diode conducts, now if the diode conducts, the current should flow in anti-clockwise direction. See, in this case, if the diode is on, the current is flowing in clockwise direction. Now, in shunt clipper, the current flows in anti-clockwise direction. V output. Okay, here also two cases. 
द डायोड इज ऑफ एंड डायोड इज ऑन ओके केस वन As I change the direction of the diode, I am taking the conditions also reverse. First, let me start with diode on. Next, diode off. Just it is a convention. It is not mandatory that you have to follow it. Diode is on. Then, what is the equivalent circuit? If the diode is on, the current flows like this from anode to cathode. What is the output here? Two volts. And how long this is possible? Anode voltage less than cathode voltage. Anode voltage is two volts, and cathode voltage as uh, like a, a cathode is going towards the input voltage. I can say input. Okay, I will write that point also later otherwise. At this stage, I don't want to mention. Keep it aside. And second case two. Diode is off. If the diode is off, the equivalent circuit is. Like this. <coughs> so, and is there any current that is possible in the circuit? No. Then no role of this. Two volts. This two volts is not connected to the circuit, and we can take it out. Then what is the output here? Output is equal to input, or I can write V input is equal to I into R plus V output. I is zero implies output is equal to input. Okay, if the diode is off, output is equal to input. And if the diode is on, output is equal to two volts. Okay, two conditions we are getting, and with respect to what voltage we can take this one. Okay, above two volts, right? Two volts and V input we are getting. Okay, so when is this possible? Circuit one is possible. Means uh, if input zero volts, yes, D diode is on. Input one volt on, it continues up to. Two volts. Okay. Suppose input is one point nine volt. Then, right cathode is going towards so ideal diode. I am taking cathode is going towards one point nine and anode is going towards two. So cathode is at lesser voltage compared to anode. The diode starts cutting. If input is more than two volts, maybe some two point one volt like this. Then cathode is going towards higher voltage compared to anode. Diode is off. Okay. So what I can say is. The first circuit is possible for V input less than two volts. Ideal diode I am taking, and second circuit is possible for V input greater than two volts. So above circuit is valid. If V input is less than two volts. And the second circuit is valid. Above circuit valid if V input is greater than two volts, like this way. And that two volts. See, in the previous circuit, if you take input less than two volts, what is the output? Input is less than above circuit is valid for input less than two volts. Input less than two volts means output is two volts, right? Both the circuits in first circuit series clipper diode is off, whereas in shunt clipper diode is on, but the output is same. And series clipper uh, diode is on for input greater than two volts, and the corresponding output is equal to input, whereas in shunt clipper the if the input is greater than two volts. Output is same, but the diode is off. Okay, so what I mean to say is, you may have a series or shunt clipper. Just I am mentioning a clipper circuit. Some input is given as five sine omega t, and coming to its output, it is two volts. For V input is less than two volts. 
it is equal to input for v input greater than 2 ohms. You may have here inside a series or shunt here for that. Okay, this is the idea. And what about the output? And this 2 volts is known as the break point. So, with respect to what voltage, the status of the output is changing. That voltage is known as break point. Okay, right. And here uh, we take one more thing known as the transfer characteristics. It is a graph drawn between input and output. Output is taken along x-axis, sorry y-axis and input is taken along x-axis. Here, if you observe this, we can take the two equations. Output is equal to input for input less than 2 volts. So, one equation, it is a similar to, this is a similar to y is equal to k. It is a straight line parallel to x-axis. V output is equal to 2 volts. And the second one, it is similar to y is equal to x. y is equal to x means it is a straight line passing through origin with a slope of 1. And when do you take output is equal to 2? That is for V input less than 2 volts. Input less than 2 volts, output is equal to 2 volts. If input is greater than 2 volts, output is equal to input. Y is equal to X line is taken for V input greater than 2 volts. Like this, we can draw the graph. And this is known as transfer characteristic. It is a graph drawn between input and output. And the voltage at which the output is changing its equation. The first equation is output is equal to 2 volts. Another equation is output is equal to input. So, the point of intersection of these two curves or these two lines is known as the break point. It is known as the break point. Above break point, some circuit and the corresponding output equation. Below break point, some other circuit and the corresponding output equation. Okay. This is what we can observe. And what about the output waveform? Okay. And here I am writing this transfer characteristics. Next. input is a sine wave then how about the output if you take the output input is less than 2 volts output is 2 volts input is greater than 2 volts output is equal to input again input is less than 2 volts in one circuit diode is on whereas another circuit diode is off. Ultimately, uh, from the equivalent circuit, what we can say less than 2 volts, then output is equal to 2 volts. Input is greater than 2 volts, output is equal to input. This is how we can write the output waveform. So, this is output waveform. And this dotted line is input. It is time axis. Everything above reference level is passed through the circuit. Okay. This is a single diode clipper. We are using only one diode and getting a waveform of this kind. Okay. 
and the reference voltage here need not be positive. Here I took 2 volts and accordingly we are getting it. So instead of 2 volts, if I write 1 volt, everything might be written with respect to 1 volt. If it is reference voltage is 3, I might have written uh, the equations like output is equal to input for input greater than 3 volts and output is equal to 3 volts for input less than 3 volts. I might have written. The reference voltage need not be 0 or need not be positive. It can be even negative also. Suppose instead of 2, if I have minus 1 volt, everything is written according to that one, minus 1 only. Input less than minus 1 volt, then output is equal to minus 1. Input is greater than minus 1 volt, output is equal to input. I am directly writing the series and shunt papers. with negative reference voltage. Series clip. The corresponding shunt clipper. Both the cases, right? The reference voltage is minus 1 instead of 2. Then what is the output? If uh, for both the circuits, if V input is less than minus 1 volt, then output is equal to minus 1 volt. If V input is greater than minus 1 volt, output is equal to input. Blindly we can do that. And what about its transfer characteristics? One equation is like output is equal to minus 1 volt. It is a straight line parallel to x axis. Another is a straight line passing through horizon with a slope of 1. Output is equal to input. The point of intersection of these two curves, two curves, straight lines, is known as the break point. This is break point. What is the point of intersection? It is minus 1. Okay, output is equal to minus 1. Output is equal to input. Their point of intersection is minus 1. So, input less than break point, output is equal to break point. And input greater than break point, output is equal to input. We can see the transfer characteristics this way. And what about the output waveform? Okay. Input is greater than minus 1, output is equal to input. Input is less than minus 1 volt, output is equal to minus 1. Everything above the reference voltage appears at the output. Above reference. What is the reference voltage here? It is negative. That's it. The reference voltage need not be positive. If the reference voltage is 0, then we can see a perfect half-wave rectifier. First two half cycles will appear at the output. Okay. This is how we can see. And of course, here I took ideal diode. Hence, we can see the waveforms of this kind. If the diodes are not ideal, if V gamma is given, then how about the waveforms? Let us 
టేక్ ద వెరీ ఫస్ట్ సర్క్యూట్ ఉంటుంది ఐ ఆమ్ టేకింగ్ ద బేసిక్ సిరీస్ క్లిప్పర్ if v gamma is equal to 0.7 then how about the output okay how do we take it then it's also a very simple thing friends take the two possible circuits first possible circuit diode of what is the output equation second circuit diode on what is the possible circuit case 1 diode is off then it is open circuit from this circuit what is the output equation is there any current possible no output is 2 volts no issues and case 2 diode is on diode is on means it maintains a voltage of 0.7 volts then if i take the loop equation v input is equal to v gamma plus v output or v output is equal to v input minus v gamma or v input minus 0.7 then what about the break point break point can be obtained by solving the two output equations a very very simple process okay generally what we expect is this is the equation for v input less than 2 volts and this is the equation for v input greater than 2 volts which is absolutely wrong then what we can do at break, break point means that is the value of v input or, or which satisfies uh, both the circuits both circuits are satisfied okay or if you take its uh, transfer characteristics it is looking like the straight line y is equal to x minus 0.7 so y is equal to mx plus c this is looking like the straight line y is equal to 2 so y is equal to 2 straight line comes like this and y is equal to x minus 0.7 intercept on y axis is negative so instead of passing through horizon it comes something like this okay so here what about the point of intersection that is the break point at the break point this is our break point. okay i can say this is 0.7 so at the break point both equations are satisfied at break point output is equal to 2 volts and of course is equal to input minus 0.7 the value of input where these two equations are correct means it is 2.7 okay so 2.7 is our break point input is less than 2 volts then output is 2 volts only how long this is valid up to 2.7 when input is greater than 2.7 volt then the output is equal to v input 
minus 0 0.72 volts. You need to apply more voltage. Okay, it's not like output is equal to input because we are considering voltage drop across the diode. Okay. This is what means now reverse engineering I am doing. Instead of first possible circuits I wrote, from the possible circuits the corresponding output equations I wrote. From the output equations I am finding the breakpoint. Okay. So one is below breakpoint, another is above breakpoint. Generally, what we thought below two volts circuit one is possible, above two volts circuit two is possible. But circuit one is possible uh, when input is less than 2.7 volts. The conclusion I am giving: circuit one is possible, or I can write here. Uh, from this, I am coming back. Okay. So above circuit. is valid if V input is less than breakpoint. What is that breakpoint? It is 2.7 ohms. Okay. And here the above circuit is valid if V input is greater than breakpoint. What is our breakpoint? 2.7 volts. You can even cross check it. Okay. I am giving my input is rising sun saddle anyway waveform comes almost similar to this with a variation of uh, uh, 0.7 volts. Instead of output is equal to input, output is equal to input minus 0 0.7. Okay. So, if the input is here 2.1 volts also, it is 2 volts, it is not ideal diode. No? So, how is it possible for the diode to continue? When the input is greater than cathode voltage, cathode voltage is 2 volts, then cathode voltage by how much? At least 0 0.7. Then only the diode will conduct. If the diode is of output is 2 volts, means the cathode voltage is 2 volts. Okay, and for the diode to conduct, anode voltage should be greater than cathode voltage by an additional 0 0.7 volt. Means when input is greater than 2.7 volt, then 0 0.7 volts can be seen across the diode and the remaining voltage can be seen across the output terminals. Even for 2.5 also, the diode does not conduct because input is 2.5 volt and output is 2 volts. Voltage across the diode is just 0 0.5 volts. That is not sufficient to make the diode to conduct. For the diode to conduct, it requires 0 0.7 volts. See how the things are changing if you consider the diode cutting voltage as far as a series clipper is concerned. Similarly, see the shunt clipper. input output okay so again here also uh, case one diode is on or off anything you can write i am writing on because in series clipper i wrote off and on shunt clipper i can change the states so if the diode is on what is the equivalent circuit It is 0 0.7 volt from anode to cathode. It is 2 volts or input. So, what is the output here? Minus 0 0.7 plus 
two volts it is 1.3 volt okay next case two diode is off we can do that right with an assumption of uh, input greater than 2 volts equivalent circuit input less than 2 volts equivalent circuit but uh, that is not uh, 2 volts that was true or uh, when the diode is ideal is the as the diode is not ideal what i am doing is i am taking the possible circuits and the corresponding output equations by solving the corresponding output equations we are getting the break point this is a processor universal processor for clippers possible circuit from the circuit derive the output equations solve the output equations for break point that's it diode is of the equivalent circuit is we output is there any current possible we have seen the similar kind of circuits earlier also so what is the output here then break point we need to find the break point at break point output is equal to 1.3 at the same time output is equal to input. so our break point is 1.3 volts means further if i draw its transfer characteristics Output is equal to 1.3 volts is one equation. And output is equal to input is another equation. Output is equal to input, right? And what about the break point? The break point is, this is our break. 1.3 volts input less than break point output is equal to 1.3 volts input greater than break point output is equal to input that's it see how the transfer characteristics are changed in series clipper right what we observed the break point value is 2.3 it is increasing in shunt clipper, the breakpoint value is decreasing. Okay, of course, that depends upon the circuit. Even sometimes, uh, the uh, in series clipper, the breakpoint value decreases. The corresponding shunt clipper breakpoint value will decrease. That is possible. Okay, waveforms are known. Right? We can say this. Okay. Again, here also the reference voltage need not be positive. If it is minus 1 volt, then in series clipper, the break point becomes minus 1 plus 0 0.7, that is minus 0 0.3. In shunt clipper, the break point is minus 1 minus 0 0.7, uh, that is minus 1.7. So, it's standard. So, it is a series clipper and the corresponding shunt clipper. The transfer characteristics will also change accordingly. So, what about V output? Output is equal to minus 1 volt if V input is less than break point. What is the break point? We need to add 0 0.7 that is minus 0 0.3 volts. Instead of minus 1, we are taking minus 0 0.3. And if 
v output is equal to v in minus 0 0.7 if v input is greater than the break point minus 0 0.3. Okay, the break point here is V reference plus 0 0.7 and shunt keeper. Output is equal to yes, what about the output equation minus 0 0.3? It is not V reference, V reference minus 0 0.7. Here for V reference, we added plus 0 0.7. Here we need to add minus 0 0.7. So, what is its value? V reference is minus 1, minus 0 0.7, it is minus 1.7. And output is equal to, this is true for V input less than break point. And the derivative is of output is equal to input. Okay. Here, diode on and sorry diode of and this is for diode on here this is what we did for diode on and it is for diode off And what about the break point? Minus 1.7. That's it. The students can try this. I am directly writing this also. Okay. This is about simple clipper circuits. Now I am taking a case where I am changing the direction of the diode in the series clipper. Right? I started with a series clipper like this. If I change the direction of this diode, how about the transfer characteristics and the corresponding output therefore? Right? Again, another series clipper I am taking. Input and output. If V input is ideal diode, assume ideal diode, first I do with ideal diode. Then two possible cases, diode of, diode or. Case 1, diode of. Already we have seen this circuit. If the diode is off, is there any current possible? No. Output is simply equal to 2 volts. When is it possible? If V input is less than 2 volts, then diode will conduct. Okay. It looks like input is less than 2 volts. It is possible. Okay. Second case. Diode is on. Then 
it acts as short circuit. From this circuit, what is V output? Input. You see, if you observe the very first case I explained, the same circuits only. Is it not so? In this uh, series clipper, what we did? If diode is off, this is the possible circuit and output is equal to 2 volts. Diode is on, it is short circuit and output is equal to input. Same circuits only diode off on, then the corresponding circuits are not changing. But earlier, this is true for input is greater than breakpoint. Sorry, input is less than breakpoint. And this circuit we took for input greater than 2 volts. Greater than 2 volts, diode is on, and this is the circuit. Now, if you observe this, this circuit you are getting for V input less than 2 volts. Is it not so? Input is something like 1 volt or 0.5 volt like that, then the diode will cut. So, this is valid for input is less than 2 volts. Here it is greater than, as you change the direction of the diode, the condition will also change. And earlier, I took this circuit for input less than 2. Now that is true for input greater than 2. Suppose input is 2.1 volt, then cathode is at higher voltage compared to anode, diode is off. This one. Okay. The breakpoint is not changing. As I changed the direction of the diodes, the conditions also will change. Equivalent circuits do not change. As circuits are not changing, the output equations also do not change. The only change you can see is the condition that's it breakpoint value is also not changing what i can write finally here this is above circuit is valid if v input is diode of when input should be greater than 2 greater than breakpoint here, this circuit, above circuit is valid if V input is for the diode to conduct, input should be less than breakpoint. Right? And the way, breakpoint is 2 volts, ideal diodes I took from. That's why I am directly writing here. Or at a breakpoint, one equation is 2, one equation is your output is equal to input. What is the point of intersection? 2 volts. Okay. The breakpoint is 2 volts. You see, just by changing the direction of the diode, the conditions are changing. What we got, this one comes for V input less than the same circuit, the same circuit you can see for input greater than 2 volts. And this circuit I took. I have got for input greater than 2, the same circuit I can see for input less than 2 volts. And how about its transfer characteristics? The same story. One equation is like output is equal to two volts. Second equation is output is equal to input. What about the breakpoint point of intersection of these two straight lines? That is our breakpoint. What is that value? 
these two words. Earlier, about two words output is equal to input. Now that equation I should take for input less than breakpoint. Earlier, input less than breakpoint output is two. Now the same statement I should take for input greater than two points. The graph positions will change. Okay, output is equal to input for V input less than 2, output is equal to 2 for V input greater than 2. Very simple. And how about the waveforms? Input less than 2 volts, then output is equal to 2 volts. Input greater than 2, output is equal to 2. Input less than 2, output is equal to input. Input may be positive or 0 or negative. Simply input less than 2, that's it. Then output is equal to input. Input greater than 2, output is equal to input. This is how we can see. Means in a series clipper, everything above reference voltage has appeared. By changing the direction of the diode, we are getting the same series clipper only. The what I did is I changed the direction of the diode. Whatever has come earlier, except that everything is appeared. And the transfer characteristics you can see. Okay. And here also the reference voltage need not be positive, it can be negative also. If reference voltage is minus 1 volt, everything below minus 1 volt will come. Output maximum will be minus 1. Earlier output minimum, now it is output maximum. And what about the corresponding shunt clipper? It's the same story, whether it is a series or shunt clipper. Change the direction of the diode. Again, case one. Diode is on, on or off anything you can take. Then what about the output? Case 2 diode off. What is the output? Input. What is the break point? 2 volts. Point of intersection of this equation and this equation. Okay, then above breakpoint, which circuit should be taken, and below breakpoint, what to be taken? Simple thing if you see input less than 2 volts, then diode is off. So it looks like may not be exactly 2. Ideal diode, if you take, it will be 2 volts. Diode off, it is true for above circuit is valid. If V input is less than breakpoint, that is less than 2 volts. And again, here above circuit is valid if input is for the diode to conduct, input should be greater than 2 volts. Very simple point. The transfer characteristics will come in a similar fashion. Input less than 2 volts, output is equal to input, input greater than 2 volts, output is 2. The same waveform. Transfer characteristics and output waveform do not change. Next, the front voltage need not be 
positive, it can be negative also. It is a series clipper with a reference voltage of minus 1. And what about the corresponding shunt clipper? Ideal diode point of view I am writing. Then input is less than reference voltage, uh, less than minus 1. Then here series clipper diode on and in shunt clipper diode is off. But diode on output is equal to input, here diode is off, output is equal to input. So what we can write input is less than reference voltage, uh, break point. I can say in this case break point is minus 1. Output is equal to input and input is greater than minus 1 volt. Then here diode off output is minus 1, here diode on output is minus 1. Break point is minus 1 volt. Transfer characteristics. Input less than minus 1 volt, output is equal to input. Anyway, let me write this otherwise. Output is equal to input. And output is equal to minus 1. So the break point is minus 1. Input less than break point, output is equal to input. Input greater than break point, output is equal to minus 1. So the maximum limit of our output is minus 1. Minimum that is equal to input minimum. So if I take the final output waveform, Output minimum is minus 1. So output maximum is minus 1. Like this, we can see the thing. So very, very simple. Take the equivalent circuits again and again, I am saying, and solve them for breakpoint. And above breakpoint, what is possible? Below breakpoint, what is possible? Just like that, we can. And if V gamma is given, then what to do? Take the first series clipper. Case 1. Diode is off. Off or on, anything you can take doesn't matter. It's all just a convention. Equivalent circuits do not change. In this circuit, output is equal to 2 volts. When is it possible? Input should be greater than 2 volts. It looks like, but not exactly. We have to check it. After finding, completing the circuits, we will decide it. Whether it is exactly 2 or 2.7 or 1.3. Case 2. Diode is on. What is the output equation? V input is equal to loop equation if I take 0.7 plus V output or 
v output is equal to v in plus 0 0.7 okay and at a break point what happens both equations are satisfied at break point At break point, output is equal to 2 volts, same time it is V in plus 0 0.7. Implies our break point is equal to 2 minus 0 0.7, 1.3 volts. Whereas earlier series clipper, the break point was 2.7, but here it is 1.3. You see, if V gamma is considered, Okay. Here V gamma is considered, it is a series clipper only, but what is the break point we have seen? 2.7. Okay. Whereas now series clipper only, but the break point is 1.3, it is not 2.7. Once you get the break point and all, if you we can draw the transfer characteristics. It's a simple thing. Output is equal to 2 volts. Another equation is output is equal to input plus 2.7. It is like y is equal to mx plus c. Intercept on y-axis is positive. Yes. Where do they meet? This point is 0 0.7 and the break point somewhere here. What is its value, friends? It is 1.3. When input is greater than 1.3, then diode is off. When input exceeds, so input is greater than 2 volts. Instead of 2, what I can say? 1.3. That makes the diode to be off. So, when input is greater than above circuit is valid, this circuit is valid. Sorry, diode is off, no? Input greater than break point, diode is off and output is equal to 2 volts. Above break point. Means, above circuit is valid. If V input is less than, sorry, greater than break point, what is that value? 1.3 volts. And here above circuit is valid, if V input is greater means it is less than break point, that is less than 1.3. Input less than 1.3, cathode voltage is less than anode voltage, diode is off. And what is the output equation? V input plus 0 0.7. Okay. That's it. This is 1.0.7. The students can try the corresponding shunt clipper. Okay. Why I am writing this one means it doesn't mean that series clipper means uh, we out break point value will increase. Shunt clipper means break point value will decrease. No, it all depends upon the direction of the current. If you take the corresponding shunt clipper, ideal diodes, then fine. But uh, if I take practical diodes, then issue comes. V gamma is 0 0.7. So case 1. 
diode is off or on anything you can write off so output is equal to input ps2 diode is on Zero point seven. What is the output? Zero point seven plus two. Two point seven ohm. That's it. So, what is the break point? Output is equal to input, and output is equal to two point seven. Break point is two point seven. Or if I take the transfer characteristics. Output is equal to input, and output is equal to two point seven. What is the point of intersection? Break point. It is equal to two point seven volts. Input less than two point seven. So when is it possible? Input less than two, it looks like diode is off. So instead of two, what I should write less than break point. Above circuit is valid. If input is less than break point, what is that? Two point seven volt. Less than two point seven, diode is off. Okay, and here above circuit is valid. If input is greater than break point, what is that break point? Two point seven. That's it. So input greater than break point. Output is two point seven. Input less than break point. Output is equal to four. That's it. The first voltage need not be positive. It can be negative also. The same story repeats. This is about the simple single diode keeper circuits. Next, we do some problems on single diode keeper circuit. See, instead of uh, randomly taking uh, right input values, input one volt, two volt, one point five, one point seven, don't break your head with all that. What are the possible things? In diode is on, diode is off. Okay, take the equivalent circuits. Solve those equations for break point. After that, you can easily identify which circuit to be taken below break point and which to be taken. after the break point so that's it